When I started to choreograph, I was doing it through a workshop with American Ballet Theatre and it was a course that was focused on women finding their voice and learning the craft of choreography. Wait, wait. And then after we've done this one... Once it was over, I didn't really have any way to show my work. I wasn't a choreographer and nobody really knew who I was, so I decided to put on a show. I knew I wanted to do something that was around a set, like 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. Um, and what can you really say in that time? I found that the way I worked best was to pull movement from a narrative. So I thought, what do I know? And that's my life and I'm gonna pull from an experience that I had. This piece then and again is really just a young woman's journey into adulthood. In the classics you go to the ballet and it's Giselle or they're nymphs and fairies and very rarely are they who we are today and so this story is a very simple narrative of a woman growing up and finding her place. The movement that I try and do is very classical but with the port de bras adapted in a way that shows a more of a gestural conversation like everyday conversation. It's a woman and she's very much alone. You really notice she moves around quite freely and really what she's in. And it says, we decided not to light her because we thought, well, this could be in her mind or it could be physical that she's really there, like looking in um, at the others. And then you start again. That's it. Sushinu Pique. Like that. This piece is special to me because it was when I first started to choreograph. I knew I was disappointed with a section before and now I can look at it and see why I was disappointed. I didn't really have the answer back then. I just knew it wasn't working. Going back and being able to rework it and fix those kinks, I think that's the nicest thing about showing it again. That's good. When I got into the Royal Ballet Company, I found that I was uncomfortable being the one in the middle. The soloist aspect wasn't for me. <laughs> um, and as I got older, as of getting older, I find, you know, less and less I want to be the focus. I'm very happy being on the outside. The transition of choreographing, it's been 10 years now. So I had to decide what was going to go and um, it was time for me to let go of dancing. I'm happy.